So whether you are a professional writer working for hire, whether you're writing your first novel or book, or whether you're just a regular old person who has to do a lot of writing in your day job, the ability to write more often and get more done is extremely important to your success. And in this video, I want to go through a few different ways that I have found that help me get writing done more often. And also so in terms of actually getting into that writing process and, and spending time writing, but also when I'm writing, how to get more stuff done. Uh, if you're wondering, you know, who's this guy to tell me about writing more often? I published 12 books, most of which were written in a about two year period. In that same time, I launched a coaching practice, which involved a lot of writing and marketing and uh, generally I'm pretty good at getting things done around the written word. So that's my backstory here in terms of learning what works in terms of actually getting more writing done. So what are a few of the most important things here? Number one is setting focus time. You need to schedule in your writing. If you just treat it like, oh, I'll write sometime, maybe I'll see when the kids go to bed, I'll, I'll maybe fit in some time, or maybe I'll watch some, you know, Grey's Anatomy, it's never gonna happen. You need to schedule the time. For me, this has meant making it the most important and first thing I do in the day. So, well, you know, breakfast, wake up, and then go and write for two hours is a dedicated time. That may not work in your schedule, although I would challenge you to find a way to make that work. But either way, scheduling in the time, the same way you would for anything else in your life is gonna make a huge difference in terms of getting more writing done. So when you're scheduling in your writing time, treat it the same way you would any other appointment. If you had a doctor's appointment or an important business meeting, would you just cancel that because a friend called or something came up? Probably not, right? You'd stick to it. So your writing time, schedule it in and treat it with the same respect you would for any other appointment. I mean, if writing is important to you, if you've been claiming you want to finish that book or start a book or write a script, then commit and set aside the time. Give yourself that importance the same way you would to someone else. The next thing that I found was really helpful for me was creating a ritual around it. So I mentioned getting up every day, having breakfast, going through the motions, and then starting to write. Do the same thing. I would recommend it. So you can figure out your own ritual. I know for a lot of writers, nights work way better than mornings. But whatever that is for you, ritualize it. It could be one day a week, although personally I find the daily works a lot better. But if it's one day a week, then every Saturday get up, go to the same cafe or the same writing spot and write from there. Make it part of your ritual and routine and it will be way easier to just keep up with it and actually um, be producing more and writing more often because it will just become normal. Oh, it's Saturday. I go to the cafe. I write. So along these same lines, habits are really important. So. What I have found, you know how sometimes you may procrastinate writing, you get this feeling of like, oh, I don't wanna get into that. I actually get that feeling now about going to a cafe because I've ritualized the process of going to the cafe and writing so much that unconsciously I know once I get there, I'm gonna write. So I don't procrastinate writing once I'm there, I procrastinate uh, going there. And that's a good thing because it means that I've made such a process that I know, my body knows, all right, this is what's gonna happen. Once we get there, we're gonna write. And so all I have to do is get myself to that cafe and the words happen. Now, once you're actually sitting down to write, the only tip I'm gonna give in this video about it, because it's so important and I don't wanna cloud it up with other things, is get rid of distractions. Do not have your phone on. Do not, like I used to go places and I still do when I'm writing without Wi-Fi, if possible. And they always apologize. Oh, sorry, we don't have Wi-Fi. It's like, I know, I, that's why I came here, don't worry. Turn your phone off, not even silent, turn it off. You're not a heart surgeon, no one's calling you to, fly in at the last minute, there's nothing that important that you're gonna need. If you do have kids and you know, blah, 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 the kids could call, then get an old Nokia phone for 50 bucks, a SIM card, and most of the world, you can get a backup SIM card for $5 a month that just does analog calling. If it's an emergency, your family has that number, otherwise leave the smartphone off or even better at home. It's way better for your brain. When you're going to and from your writing spot, same thing. Don't go there and be like WhatsApping people on the way and like listening to podcasts and all this stuff necessarily. Well, you can listen to my podcast, but um, because that's going to get your mind going and distract you. So I'd really recommend like going to and from your writing spot. If you do write out of your home, um, listen to music, do something else just to, you know, allow you to kind of get in the flow, start to think about what you're writing. So when you sit down, it's already flowing rather than, you know, be messaging people and then sit down and just expect the words to come out. Uh, so that's it. One book I'm going to recommend, one resource here is called, let me get the words right, Daily Rituals, How Artists Work. This is a cool book. It does not provide any solutions, but it provides insights into the daily rituals of hundreds of different artists, writers, painters, etc., and how they set up their days. And it's an interesting thing to see just how different everyone's was. But the common theme you will find, as I've talked about today, is they had rituals and routines that they followed, and that's why they were able to consistently produce work. 
Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this, do subscribe to my channel. We cover lots around becoming a freelancer, particularly and often a freelance writer, around confidence, psychology, and just getting more uh, out of life so you can have a more awesome life.